the thrift and see what we can find today. So the first stop is an op shop that I've only been to once or twice, um, but they're having a half price off summer sale today. So I'm gonna go check that one out. And then I have an op shop that I go to most months and it's only open monthly. So I am going to check that one out. It's more boutique -y. you pay up, but you generally get really good things there. Um, so it's definitely worth me checking out today. And then the last uh, planned stop anyway is, uh, uh, just a regular op shop. I'm going to head to Selvos because I have a full Selvos card. So that's the plan. I am going to take you along with me and I'm going to try and show you what I find along the way. So let's go. So I arrived at my first op shop and had high hopes. This is the one that they had a half price summer sale of. First thing I found were these rolly cut out brogues they were in a really great condition and for seven dollars i was getting them definitely the second item i found were these uh metallic brogues these were in great condition and were by the brand zazu and i have a lot of luck selling them as well first one down and i managed to get a couple of little things um, probably the pick was the rollies that i found i actually have a pair right behind me going out today so what a good find just to replace those ones. I stopped in an area that had four op shops in a row and thought I would have a great chance of finding some items, but I found these Frankies and they wanted $70 for them. Lifelines in Queensland seem to have ridiculous pricing on some things. These Frankies they wanted $44, which is a little bit better, but still way too high to resell. Um, even some of the dresses in there, they had $24. 30, 40, 50 dollars on, which is just too much. So I left this op shop empty handed. So I have my coffee. It is about 10.45 and I've only just got it now. So it's very late for me, but um, I've managed to go to, I think it's about three or four op shops so far, only to have produced anything. So I'm about to head back to the other side of town, my side of town, and I will at least get to four. So I have two planned, one's right nearby, and then I have to pick up an online purchase from an op shop as well before I head home. So I'll see how those ones go um, and see what time of day it is and then see where I end up. So let's get going. I managed to get to the boutique op shop uh, that opens monthly and I didn't have as much luck as I normally do here. Normally I walk out after spending hundreds of dollars but there was a lot of Princess Highway and Revival. It was kind of like someone had spewed them all over the place. There was so many of them and they were priced quite high. Even though they had pretty prints, they all stayed behind because $15 to $30 was way more than I was willing to spend on brands like that. They had some Gorman too and it was priced up as well, so I left that behind. I also found this gorgeous a pink leather jacket, but at $40, it was staying behind as well. Here we go, last op shop of the day. Okay guys, left that one and Holy crap, it was so good. It is a new one to me and I have a whole pile and I only spent $70. So very, very happy that I stopped here today. And we are done. I left my house at about 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning and I've just hit the last one. I have no time for any more and I think I've spent enough money today. So it's time to go home in Okay, so I have notes on each op shop and I'm going to show you op shop by op shop so you can see the amount of volume I got from each one. So let's get into it. Okay, in that op shop you would have seen I grabbed a few items, one of them being these gold metallic brogue shoes. They're by the brand Zazu and I've sold this brand multiple times. Um, I have none left listed. They all sell. Um, these ones I'm going to list for $59.99. The other pair of shoes that I got were those Rollies. So these are a cutout brogue as well. They're in very good condition. The leather on the top looks great. Little bit of wear to the soles. Um, and I'm gonna list them for $69.99. 
So the two clothing, clothing items I got in there was just this little peri uh knit short sleeve top, cute little polka dots. I'm going to list that one for $39.99. And then I got this Stella jean kind of oversized t-shirt. I thought these appliques were very cute. This is a new to me brand. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go. So I've got to do a little bit more research, but I'm probably going to list it for around $50. Okay. So moving on to the next one, I deliberately went to some salvos because I had a full card and I completely failed. I went to three and could not use my full card. Either the prices were too high or they just didn't have great stock. So if you're not in Queensland, if you get a full salvos card, you get 50% off 10 items up to the value of $30. And I think the salvos are catching on because they're pricing things at $30. So I had no luck, but the next one is a Selvos and I'll show you what I got. Okay, from my first Selvos of the day, I managed to find these Allegra sandals. Um, if you don't know about Allegra, they are a comfort shoe. Normally they come in like a clog style, um, but these ones are their sandals. So I did pay up for these, but I'm going to list them for $69.99. So the two clothing items that I got from the Salvos was this Trenary dress. Animal print is supposedly in at the moment. So I grabbed that one. It's a size large, so great size. I'm going to list this one for $49.99. And then the other clothing item I got was a pair of Nobody jeans. And I haven't picked up Nobody in a while, actually. But these are straight leg. They're cuffed. Um, and they're part of their Guilty collection. So I'm going to list them for $49.99 as well. Okay, so op shop three of the day was my reason for leaving the house. I planned my whole day around this op shop. This op shop only opens once a month and generally has more boutique brands. So at this op shop, I spent up, but my return on investment should also be really good. So let's go. The next item is this little black milk dress. It's velvet and it's sparkly. I find that I have really good luck with black milk, black velvet dresses. So I did pay $25 for this dress, but I'm going to list it for about 80. Now I've been so lucky in my thrift career to find Brunello Cuccinelli multiple times. Uh, and this one is a pure silk uh, top and it has leather like elbow pads. It, oops, it was only priced at $15 and I'm going to list this one for $200. So even though this op shop is boutique, I managed to grab two things off their $5 rack. So I grabbed this little gourmand top. It's in a size 14. I'm going to list that for probably $40. And then the other item I got were these Easton Pearson black pants. They have like this lace detail on the bottom with a flare, flare leg. And I'm going to list them for $50. I found a pair of Frankie Four Tambos. These are brand new. Um, I did pay up for these, but I'm going to list them for $140. I don't think it's going to make it into my eBay store. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one for myself. Um, has some really cool detail on the strap there. It's nice. Like, it's just a really nice size bag. It has like a key holder in there so you can clip your keys so you don't lose them. Um, it just feels really well made. So this one I could list for $50, but it's probably going in my cupboard. And the last thing that I got from this op shop was this Arnhem uh, kind of boho stitched top. This is a size 16 and the sell through rate for size 16 blouses is so this one was a no brainer. Even for $12, um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my money back very quickly on this one. Moving on to the next salvos that, again, I didn't get to use my full card at. I managed to get five items. Um, so first, just a little Everlane linen top. Seems like the linen uh, Everlane top sell. I've never picked it up before, but it was only $3, so I thought I'd give it a go. 
I have sold this deck Juba top many, many times, usually in black or white. Um, it doesn't have its slip underneath, but I'm still going to list it for $44.99. I just got a little Cos shirt. Uh, Cos has been selling really well for me lately. I don't know what's happened, but I had a period where everything sat and now they sell within a couple of days. So I'm going to list this one for $44.99 as well. And then as I was leaving, I spotted these Baby Owl Black Milk Leggings. Supposedly these are rare. I need to do, again, some more research. But my thoughts at this stage is that I'll list them for $74.99. And the last item that I grabbed from that Salvos was a pair of Dansko clog shoes. I've never found Dansko before. I know a lot of resellers talk about them. Um, but these ones are in pretty much new shape. Looks like they've been tried on just from the toes, but the the soles look really good. They're not even really dirty. So these ones I'm going to put up for about $70. This next op shop has just recently opened up, maybe in the last three months, and I haven't managed to get there. This one was fire. I had so much fun in there. I grabbed so much stuff. Um, and really good stuff. And the manager said they're trying to keep the prices low so people come back. And I tell you what, I will be putting this one on my regular route because it was just so good. So let's go. There's so many, so I've moved my rack forward just to make it a little bit easier. So first up, I grabbed two Marimekko Uniqlo tops. These won't go for a huge amount of money, but I should be able to get $40 each for them. Um, Marium Echo seems to have a really good following, even with the Uniqlo collab. I have a really good luck selling the dresses, so happy to pick those two up. I grabbed a little Gorman top. Um, I have a lot of Gorman from this haul, so there's more to come. Just a little Mila Purdy top. This one uh, was only $4.50. I'm finding that op shops are mostly putting up Mila. So I'm generally not finding it for under like $10, $15. And at that price point, I'm definitely thinking about whether or not it's worth it. I always love finding Lena Broughton. So this is just a navy kind of swing midi dress um, in a size 8. Then I have two more Gorman pieces. So I have this Gorman watermelon shift dress. And then this one is so pretty. It's like a silk coral dress. Okay, this one. This one I want to talk about. So I'm not sure if many of you out there know about this brand. So this brand is called Rip Skirt. I'm going to take it off the hanger and show you. So the skirts are Velcro. They're made out of this material that is like keeps the sand away. It's like perfect for the beach. I'll show you the tag. So these skirts are, I think they're made in Hawaii, made in the US but they are so in demand. So I have sold probably close to 10 of these when I, you know, when I can find them, I pick them up without even hesitation. So this one, I think I picked up for eight bucks and this one should flip anywhere between 45 and say $65. Like this is a Bolo brand to be on the lookout for. But moving on. So I grabbed a few skirts. This is just an August skirt. I am being a lot more picky with August these days. So this one I grabbed because of the length. It's a good size. It's a size 12. And it's kind of got that animal print mob wife kind of trend to it. So grab that one. Are you ready for the find of the day? How gorgeous is this skirt? So this skirt is by Palm Noosa. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's another brand to definitely be on the lookout for. Um, 
I have already looked this one up um, to find the name of it. And I'm, 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 I'm conflicted. I don't know whether to keep it because it's my size or let it go. So it's going to be drafted. It's going to go up, but I might get a wear in before that. So this skirt is made out of like a cotton poplin. It feels so nice. As you can tell, I keep stroking it. Um, but I think I can get $150 for this skirt. So very, very pumped. All right, the last three things are pants. I grabbed these pink frame Le Crop jeans. There's no comps for this color. Um, so I'm probably gonna price them a little bit high, be open to offers. Some Sasha Drake pants. If you're not on the look for Sasha Drake pants, you need to be, they sell like hotcakes. Sasha Drake at the moment seems to be selling very well. And the last item from this op shop were these Assassin by Pants. There's recent uh, sold comps for these. So these were a very easy pickup. So that is everything. I spent $337 in the end for the whole day on everything that's behind me. And I've done some comps and I've done some calculations and that should make me about two and a half thousand dollars which is just mind-blowing what a fantastic day in the thrift i'm so pumped i now have a lot of work to do there's a lot of work behind me but i'm excited i'm gonna get into it and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one bye